A barbecue in there. There's a washer and dryer in here. I don't want to get overexcited about it. When I do that, I tend to overpay. Nice unit. Ooh, this will fill the truck a couple times over. Sanders, compressors, handheld tools, wire. This room right here is a gold mine. All right, if you're almost ready to go, I'm almost ready to go. And here we go. And how much money? Where? To give me five, five. What about five thousand bucks? To give me four thousand. Two. I got two thousand there. Put twenty-five there. I got two thousand. No, no, no. Twenty-one. Ooh, I was bidding two hundred. That would have been a hell of a trip to the ATM. What about 22? Yeah. 21, 2 down 3. I got 22, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 23. Think of me, I'm going to be 24. Now 5, 24. I'm going to be 25. I'm going to be 25. Yeah. I got 25 there. 25. I'm going to be 26 now. What about 26? Yeah. 27. I'm going to be 27. I'm going to be 27 right there. I'm going to be 28. I'm going to be 29. I'm going to be 29 right there. I got you. 2,900 going once. I got 2,800 going twice. 2,900 bucks. Lots of final call. At 2,900, I'll lay in a super through. through. Then got to go against one nine. So that's way. 2,800 dollars. Daryl, lock it up. Nobody's the pants at the dance. But me. Should we just roll it over to the trailer? I paid 2800 bucks for a big tool locker. And I brought one of my own, Brando. Got a, probably 100 bucks worth of stuff right here for sure. This little pancake compressor right here, 150 bucks. Ooh, ice table, 20 bucks. There's a joiner. There's 75 bucks right there. Nice. Oh, nice. Two stroke. It's 100 bucks right there. Shovels and stuff over here. I've got a hundred bucks. A Makita planer. That right there is probably worth 200 bucks, Brando. Here's another little $40 saw right there. Man, this little locker just keeps giving. Table saw here, here's another hundred bucks. There's probably $75 worth of concrete tools too right here. I get 125 for every one of these welding sets I ever get. More welding gear. They're together. That's 200 bucks. Here's a nice little $200 toy. Think so? Yeah. Washer and dryer is 250 bucks. What do you think all these old windows are worth? A decent vinyl window this size can go for just 230 bucks. So is it safe to say we've got $800 worth of windows here? Minimum. Oh, sweet. Look at that. It's a wood turning lathe. That thing's worth about 800 bucks brand new in the box like that. Here we go now. Hey, now. Whoa. Ooh, yeah, what is that? I don't know. This is some weird gadgetry or something. Event Ever? counter? It's in kilovolts. As in, we'll kill you. Just be careful of that tube in there. Yeah. Danger, high voltage. Oh, bend over. I know where this goes. If Brandon wants one penny of his inheritance, that thing better not go anywhere near my assets. You know what, Brandon? Let's be honest. We're not even halfway through this. There's probably another grand in here. Set this aside. This thing could be worth a few hundred bucks just because it's strange. Well, this might be the place right here, Brando. We're meeting the engineers at Sage Analytical Lab to see what our little electric box does. Let's uh, open her on up. Some type of anti-electric static prostate checker or something. Well, uh, you got one word, right? This is an electrostatic discharge machine, ESD. It's pretty common in our world. It's used for zapping different electronics. So the whole purpose of this is a company will design a product, a phone, a computer, whatever it is, and then it's like you rub yourself on the carpet and a spark happens. That could kill the product, so this simulates that. So basically, you get to shock stuff and see if it still works afterward. Absolutely. Yes. OK. So the world relies on you two nerds sitting in here That's it. blowing stuff up. Yeah, that's, that's our job. Unbelievable. All I care about, really, is what's it worth. Well, the good thing is, is that it's in pretty good shape. You know, it's not all beat up. <sighs> you can probably fetch $1,000 for it. 1000 nice. bucks. 1000 bucks. I'll Problem take it. is, you're going to need to have this calibrated and make sure it's in working order. As it is, maybe 200 bucks. Oh, dude, you just took me from 1000 to 200 bucks. Fortunately, it's got to be precise in our world, and you can't just stab it and hope it does its job. I guess we have different ways of doing business. But 200 bucks is 200 more than we had a minute ago. You're the only two guys I've ever called nerds, and you got even happier. Oh, yeah. You're proud of being a nerd, huh? That's what we went to school for.